This is a comparison of the Gibson Les Paul Studio and Les Paul Standard 50s model. Check them out via the Sweetwater links in the description if you want to do some gear shopping. These links help support our channel, yet at no extra cost to you. Keep in mind that there are other versions of the Les Paul Standard, namely the 60s and Slash Signature models. But this comparison takes into account the general roster of features, while focusing specifically on the 50s Les Paul, since it's one of the more popular models. Here are the main similarities between the two Les Pauls. Number one, both guitars have mahogany bodies with maple tops. Number two, both have a nitrocellulose lacquer finish. Number three, they share a common body shape, the iconic Les Paul. Number four, each guitar has 22 frets and a scale length of 24.75. Number five, they use the same type of nut material, Graftech. Number six, both models are equipped with a three-way toggle pickup switch. Let's cover the main differences between these two guitars. Number one, neck shape. The Studio features a slim taper with a contoured heel, while the Standard has a vintage 50s profile. Number two, fingerboard material. Ebony on the Studio. Rosewood on the Standard. Number three, radius. The Studio uses a compound radius, 12 to 16 inches, while the Standard has a fixed 12 inch radius. Number four, pickups. The Studio uses 490R and 498T humbuckers. The Standard uses a Gibson burst bucker set. Number five, controls and features. The Studio uses advanced switching options, coil splits, phase switch, and pure bypass whereas the standard uses a more traditional setup. Number six, tuners. Grover Rotomatics on the modern studio versus vintage deluxe on the standard. To follow up on the comparison, I'll cover a little bit more about each guitar. First, the standard. The Les Paul standard models typically ship with the Gibson burst bucker pickups, which are unfortunately missing in the Les Paul studio. This alone will cause some reduction in price. At $2,500, the standard is roughly $1,000 higher than the studio. Though sounds appreciably similar and doesn't deviate significantly in the spec sheet outside of the pickup upgrade. In the studio, we've mentioned the downgrade in pickups and modest shift in bridge hardware. We do get Grover tuning machines with the same mahogany body and rosewood fingerboard that we see in the standard Burst buckers aside, there isn't much to complain about on the Studio spec sheet. The Studio is a solid baseline model that could be upgraded later with a standalone set of burst bucker pickups, if desired. It's a great guitar either way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at guitarchalk.com.